Happy new DualSense controller day, everyone. That's right, from today there are now three official colours for the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Let's unbox them. Shall we begin with... Red. I've never unboxed a PlayStation 5 controller before. This is my first experiment. First impressions. Oh, wow, that's, um, yeah, very different to how it appears online, if that makes sense. I was, oh, it feels so nice to have a real fresh one. Really crisp new buttons. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, I see what people are saying. People are saying that it's not quite as pink as it looks in videos. This is quite a bit darker and I'm really, yeah. When I first saw it, I was like, no, oh, it's a bit too pink for me, I think. But this is really nice, yeah. The camera's probably not good enough to pick this up, but um, it's got the cross square circle and triangle symbols all over the grip, just like the last one, that one. Wow. This is honestly so much better than I thought it was from the promotional pictures and videos. It looks really good. Really, really good. I understand Sony wanting to do this color now. <laughs> it's very different to every other red that they've had. Every other red's been quite red, you know? This one is very sort of, not quite maroon, mauve maroon. I'm not exactly sure what to call this, but it's like maybe a deep rose. Apparently it changes a lot depending on light. So let's just give this a go. I don't know, does that look much different to you? Looks, looks pretty similar to me. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. All right, what else do we get in the box? We get DualSense Wireless Controller Instruction Manual. Great. Time for the black. I got this one from JB and they like to fully tape up the boxes, I guess to prevent uh, theft. I'm trying not to destroy this box in case I resell it later. When the rumors came out, they said that the black was actually a gray, and I was quite excited for that because I'm all about the grays, but um, let's see how well they've done black. I'm so excited, my hands are shaking. Yeah, this is really nice too. It's incredibly sleek. I think I like the red better though, first impressions. I love the gray of the symbols. It's very, very sort of matte finish. Very smooth. In this light, I can't really tell the difference between the colors. Whereas in the promotional images, it was quite an obvious difference, I feel. But here, yeah, it just looks like a very smooth black all over. Anyway, let's see if the black looks any different in the light. Oh, I feel like you can see like a slight color difference maybe, but not really. Do you, do you guys see anything? So if you've already got the black and white controller, which I assume pretty much everyone does because it's the one that comes with the PlayStation 5, and you just want to get one more and you don't know which one to get, let's have a look at what they look like together. All three color options. What do you reckon? This is a lot of dual sense to be holding. This is three hundred dollars worth of dual sense right here.
So there we have it, those are the new PlayStation 5 DualSense controller colors, and of course, the original white. I actually had no intention of buying both. I spent a week trying to decide which one to get. I ended up landing on the red, I pre-ordered it, and then I got up this morning and I was like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go buy the black one as well. So then I, now I've got all three. It probably wasn't the best idea, especially because as soon as they announce a blue or purple controller, I'm probably gonna go and buy it. So I'm not even gonna end up with the black one in the long term. I might end up keeping the red though. At first I thought I'll keep it for the moment, but when like a purple one comes out, I'll trade it in. But now I'm like, that's a really nice red. It may end up sticking around. Let me know which one's your favorite. For me, it's definitely the Cosmic Red and I have never ever in my life purchased a red PlayStation controller. I've always gone with blues and grays and silver and purple and crystal blue, but never have I gotten a red and I, I regret nothing. It is such a beautiful color. It's different, it's bold, it's new. It's nothing we've seen before. Unlike the black, which we've seen many, many times before. So if you're trying to decide, go red. You won't regret it. I mean, you might, but for once in your life, take a risk, take a chance, just live a little. Go Red. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can also click on my face to subscribe to my channel and click on this video to watch another video. It actually looks really pink in this natural light.